Hey guys, it's Sam from MobileTechVideos.com. So I've been using the Ditto Note 3 ROM on my Galaxy Note 2 for about two weeks now, and it's been great. Uh, really, really love this ROM. So I figured I'd show you guys some of the key features that stand out to me. So hang out, we'll be right back, and we'll take a closer look. Alright, so before we power this on, of course we have to give big thanks to the guys that brought it to our device. Uh, Team Electron is the name of the group, and specifically a gentleman named Saw Doctor, who posted this thread for us to download this awesome ROM. As I said, this is the Ditto Note 3, and I will go ahead and power it on. We've got a, some boot animation and sound, as well as power off sound. There you go. So this does have a lot of aspects of Galaxy Note 3 as well as the Galaxy S5. Now I will say that I had a ton of problems getting this on the device. Uh, well, not really a ton, but it does. It, it is a little tricky. It's not the normal flash. Flash it and you're good to go. Um, and a lot of people are having problems. Read through the posts on the thread to get help but basically if you follow the directions you should be good this does have the aroma installer and for my flash I didn't change anything on the aroma installer I believe I added the s5 build.prop tweaks but other than that, I didn't change anything. I just went with everything that was already selected. I did uh, get rid of some of the Google apps that I don't care about uh, and some of the Samsung apps. But other than that, it's exactly like uh, the developer intended in within the Aroma installer. Now, this is going to be a real quick overview. As I said, I've been using it for about a week and a half, two weeks now. There's all my stuff updates here in the background. But... Um, This is what it's going to look like if you, as I said, if you leave the aroma just as it is and uh, add in the, the S5 tweaks. Now, I will say that I've already, I've added exposed framework. And so, like this big, the blind spot, which is my other YouTube channel, um, down here at the bottom, and the status bar being a different color. Those are just, I was playing around with the Wanum uh, exposed framework as well as the the big clock there in the middle so those will not look like that when you flash this ROM but uh, that's the great thing one great thing about this is it does expose framework does work on it and you can tweak those things if you've never used the exposed framework guys you gotta check it out I mean you can really just do a ton of things to your your device without having to flash any ROMs this has the pull-up feature where you can pull up and launch uh, an application that you choose. I set it to YouTube here, which is a little slow for the first time opening up, but you can change that to whatever you want. This has remapped the, the keys here, so the menu button is now the recent task manager button. So now you will have a dedicated menu button somewhere on, within apps. We have the new settings menu here, which I was not a big fan of, but I'm getting used to it. Uh, that I'm since I'm I'm forced to use it. 4.4.2. Now that's another issue with this ROM, um, or not issue with the ROM, but something you have to deal with when you first flash it. You're going to want to go in and put in the APNs for AT&T or whatever you're using. Um, the ones recommended on the thread didn't work great for me so I went online and I just um, googled whatever the the latest APNs um, for L at and LTE and I put that in played around with it tried a couple different variations and finally found one that gave me good uh, LTE but still wasn't getting great speed tests uh, data speed tests so I actually asked on the thread if anybody else was having issues and um, People were very nice and, and helped me out. One gentleman suggested that I up 
update my modem. Said that was a great idea. Had trouble finding the latest modem online for AT&T. Once again, went to the threads and asked them. And of course, XDA community, uh, these guys are awesome. Very first response, the guy linked me to the latest uh, modem for AT&T, as well as a whole list of others I could try. Flashed the very latest one and it's worked great. I've gotten great speeds. And you can see it there, CNE5, I believe is what that says. So after that, yeah, I got, got really good speeds. Uh, it just says 4G at the top, but uh, in the thread, they've got a file you can flash if you want to change that icon to the LTE icon. That's no problem. S Pen is working. In fact, um, Note 3 features are working just fine. Here's a bunch of apps that come with the ROM, including the S Health, S Translator, all those that you're familiar with. Note 2 hidden settings, um, the air command you can set that application, the pull up you can set that app. Multi window you can adjust those and add a bunch more applications to that. Gear manager, uh, unfortunately I don't have a gear watch so I can't tell you guys how well that works but you know you can play with that. Samsung's group play. So lots of cool apps for you to uh, play around with that come on the ROM already. But like I said, I've been using this for a couple, uh, two weeks about, and haven't had any problems. Everything has been working great. Haven't had any force closures, any reboots, anything like that. Um, as I said, the pin gestures work. The GPS works fine. Once I got APN and uh, my modem updated, my connect data has been great. Uh, LTE has been good. So all in all, really a great ROM. Been very, very happy with it. So if you've got a Note 2 and you can't get a Note 3 or an S5 yet, um, and you're still waiting for that Note 4, oof, fingers crossed, coming out soon, then this would be a great alternative. But that's it for me, guys. This is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Show the uh, shutdown animation here for you. And sound. But uh, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. This is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you like it, hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right below me down here so you can stay up to date with all the new stuff coming out. Also over there, you can check out my other channel, The Blind Spot, or visit the MobileTechVideos website and let us know if there's anything we can do to help you out. Thanks again.